send my boat across the water Gonna let the waves lead her there Gonna lift my spirit like the wind in her sail And ride this holy prayer Across this ocean with nothing in my hands, just a song of devotion till I reach that holy land. And I'm standing before you now, and I'm Shalom, I am Rabbi Shaul Praver. You are watching Rabbi Rock. As a rabbi, I'm often called 
by reporters to offer my insights and thoughts on different subjects. And depending on the questions or the subject matter, I'm either willing or not willing to talk about it. Um, and, uh, but uh, in any case, I received a telephone call from a newspaper correspondent, newspaper writer, journalist, and we had a very lovely conversation. But I began to uh, wonder how old this reporter really was. Um, I think it was just her voice that sort of tipped me off that she sounded very, very young. And I, I popped the question and I just said, uh, well, how old are you? And I discovered that this reporter that had been interviewing me for, I don't know, about an hour, was only 15 years old. And she had a job with a newspaper. And uh, her name is Leora Waltuck. And we have the great privilege of having Leora with us in the studio today. And I exchanged the uh, invitation. And now I get to interview her. So <laughs> welcome, Leora. Thank you. So. Um, you originally interviewed me. You wanted to know my take on modern Judaism in America. And maybe we'll just give them a little snippet of that interview, uh, some of the questions you asked me then. Well, um, I from what I recall, I asked about how you felt Jude Jewish culture had been affected by living in America the past so many hundred years. Right, right. Now. Um, do you recall how I answered that question? <laughs> um, <laughs> if you forgot, I, I remember. <laughs> but um, go ahead. I'll, I'll remind you. I think I, I talked about the problems of assimilation in America and how uh, you know we are like an orphaned generation. And I hadn't quite realized how closely my life, the close proximity my life is to the Holocaust. And I realized it dawned on me when I was working here in the United States for 15 years. Um, I realized that I was born just 15 years after the Holocaust was over. And that 15 years of my work in the United States was very quick. And I think we have a tendency to think of anything that comes you know, any event in history that came before we were born is like ancient. There must have been dinosaurs walking around then. 1950s is only 10 years before, you know, I was born in 1960. Um, but it seems like ancient history just because I wasn't here. And uh, so anyways, the perspective of time dawned on me and I said, oh my God, we're like an orphan generation. So that all of these rabbis in Europe that were knowledgeable and learned uh, perished in the Holocaust, and uh, we didn't have them any longer, and we were on our own. And uh, many of the institutions, important institutions, were still in Europe, and um, it, uh, there we found ourselves trying to make our own way. So I think I, I talked about something like that. Now, how did you um, throw yourself into this assignment? 